Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello. Hello, crafty vampires. What are you guys doing? I'm cleaning the paint off of my cuticles because I can't seem to get it out. So I'm using some alcohol and a baby wipe. So what are you guys doing up? You ate eight cookies and you didn't even share any? Only one for me? Good Lord. Did you put any in my box? <laughs> you did? <laughs> yep, nope. <laughs> That's not very nice. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Carla and Jamie. Hi, Laura. Well, how do you know they're lefties and not righties? You said you have four lefty. How do you, how can you tell if a cookie is a righty or a lefty? Still got 1.3 minutes for what? Oh, 1.3 minutes? Doesn't that have a skip on it? Good Lord. Well, thank you for watching the ad. <laughs> it helps my channel that you do. All right, my hands are as good as they're gonna get for now. So did we all have a good day today? Yes, we did. I did, my back is killing me right now, but other than that I did. I aggravated the hell out of my sciatica. Hi, Bima. Are you here? I just scrolled up to see that you came in at 2.15. Are you gone or did you come back? Hi, Carla. I was asking why couldn't you skip the ad that you were watching? Did it not let you? Because usually it doesn't roll for that long without a skip. Yeah, alcohol in my hands, my hands are dry. Yeah. It was hotter than hell in that creative reuse today, and I don't know, for some reason, I don't know if the air conditioner was broke or what, but it wasn't running because it's up on the wall, and it's like this big thing up on the wall, and it was not running, and I was sweating my ass off, and I hurt my back, which was so much fun. I, I, I took my painkillers when I got out of there, and I felt a little better, but... It sucks. I, every time I move a certain way, I'm feeling it. Oh, she might have gone to bed because that was at 2.15 that, that I, I when I scrolled up to the top of the chat. She was here at 2.15, so maybe she went to bed. So, I've got some stuff to show. Um, I'm going to start with this thing because I got some game pieces. Various game pieces, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep some because I want a few for mixed media purposes. Um, but somebody else can enjoy them for mixed media pur purposes, or you know whatever you want to do with it. I just want 
see, a couple of wood ones, or uh, that one's not wood, never mind. I thought there was more than one. Only the one. That's noisy. But I want some of the smaller ones and a couple of those bigger ones, and then there'll be the other set in there. There's another wood one. A couple of the whole ones. Ah, more wood ones. Um, That many, just a few. Just a big horsey and a little horsey. Because you can paint them and you can make jewelry out of them. You can use them in shadow boxes, use them as stuff for your mixed media, all that kind of stuff. I'll grab one of those guys. like the wood ones. Alright. So then this whole bag will go. Then there was this bag. This bag of stuff. Which, if it's just a chess piece, and I don't, if it's not one that I am interested, I'll throw it in there. But there's these pieces here. And there's these weird. Well, I know they're probably checkers, but they're like wood checkers, which I think I want some of those because I like it. Well, I don't think any. Anybody wants a screw? You want a screw? Somebody taped this one for some reason. Not sure why. Is it broken? Why would somebody wrap it in tape? If it's not broken. Oh, they were trying to make it a, a red piece? Huh. Because they needed an extra red piece. Gotcha. I've done silly things like that before. Oh, this is cool. This is like a metal. Oh, I like the metal chest pieces. We have to keep some of those because those I like. Those would be cool. Those are cool. I like those. And there's metal ones, but they're painted black. Ooh, I really like those. If there's a full set of these, I'd like to make, make a chess board. I love playing chess. I haven't played chess in a long time, but I used to play it all the time. I had a boyfriend who taught me how to play chess. I like dice. Bizarre thing. I doubt all the metal pieces are in here. I highly doubt it. Huh. That one doesn't look phallic at all. Oh, that's a good, uh, is that the queen or the king? I don't know. Yeah, all the pieces are not here, unfortunately. Just probably why they got rid of it. I do like the wood che che checkers pieces. I don't think there's a... Is there not a metal queen? No, two of those. Oh, here's, this must be the queen. Okay, so the king and the queen right here. Cool. Too bad all the pieces are not here. Cool. I'll throw the rest of those in there. That's really cool. Hi, Laura. The other Laura and, and Esther and Nicole. And Miss Bima. I have this box down here. I got this cool, um, you know, like a photo box, but it's like wrapped in like a a vinyl type of thing. It's a nice one. It's got the snap where you can take out the centerpiece if you want to. I was like, oh, I, I need one of those. So I'll throw anything that I'm keeping in to this box. Put this box over 
here. Throw things into it. But that's a pretty cool bag of tricks. I know there's a lot of people that like to use game pieces to do mixed media and stuff. Or just to paint them and make them like cool little doodads. And then I got these things, which is kind of cool. This one here makes hemp bracelets, and all the stuff is here. All the hemp, there's plenty of that. And then these cards I thought were cute. I don't know why this weird sticker's on here. Don't want it. But it's a game name called Snap. Does anybody else remember that logo from when we were kids? Focus, jackass. Hello? Hello, are you stupid or something? Whitman. I remember that logo. Logo? Logo? <laughs> anyway, this is a snap card game, but when I looked at the cards, look how cute. They've got little cute little animals on it. Oh my goodness. They were so cute. I was like, oh, I want it. Look at the little deer. And the beaver with the axe. I was like, yeah, I need these cards. And you know what's funny? I've seen these cards in the thing the last time I was there and I just I didn't bother but this time I actually looked at what was on the cards because I thought they were just regular playing cards but these are just too cute anyway I thought they were just cute they were so cute Oh, the, this is nothing. Everybody's used to my live streams. They're always at late at night. So that's nothing. I'm not surprised. And then there was this, which is a Sculpey jewelry set where you, you can, it, you know, has everything, I guess, to make beads. It was taped shut, so I didn't open it, but I'm going to open it now just to make sure, you know, everything's in there and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got all the clay, stuff to make barrettes. It's all sealed up and ready to go. Cool. Got glitter, a thing to roll and cut your beads. That's cool. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'll put that for the auction on Sunday. Um. I need to test these. I got a bunch of punches that I'm happy about. A lot of them I'm happy about because some of these I really like. This one is a one of those you put it in the middle of the page type of thing. So I'm really happy about that because I've always kind of wanted one of those. And I got this weird punch. And I'm like, what does this like? I don't know whether it's just old or just it's heavier than a normal punch so and I got some borders I think I have this border but I'm not sure I'm gonna check and then there's this weird one that does like circles which I'm very intrigued by and then there's that one which I think makes photo corners I believe there's a little I don't know if this does corner rounding maybe I don't know we'll have to see this one's a corner rounder this one's a corner rounder. This one makes little music notes, which I thought was cute. This is a, oh, this one makes the little, um, little things, you know, the little, yeah, you know what I mean. This is another border, another corner rounder, whatever the hell this is, I don't know. This one has a balloon and a little cake on it. And this one has something fancy. Is it a corner rounder? I don't know. We're going to find out what the hell this is. Oh, yeah, it is. Ooh, I can use some more fancy corner rounders. Okay, let's try this. This is one of those that drives me nuts because you got to use it like on a table or something so you can not have an issue. What the hell's stuck in there? Nothing, nothing. My own stupidity. Oh, it's a little. Oh, it makes a little rainbow on the corner. It's not perfect, but it works. Okay. Hmm. It's a little like like a rainbow. I don't know. 
and it rounds the corner. It didn't do a great job. This is not paper, by the way. That's way too thick. Usually these things work best with like copy paper. So I've got a ton of this weird paper with this bizarre perforation. There we go. I don't know if I have a need for this one, but it's kind of cool. I don't need that. What does this do? Hmm. What is that for? It makes those little lines. What is that for? Is that some sort of something? What would you have a need for that? For those little lines? I don't know. Does anybody know? I don't know. This one I really liked. There's some already punched out in here. Little music notes. She wants to learn how to make stick pins. You mean hat pins? Is that what you mean? Oh, cute. I like that one. I want it. Oh, here's that heavy one. I want to try this one. Let's see. Oh, it just cuts a nice big hole. Oh, I like that. It does cuts, punches. Oh, it punches so nice. Oh, I like that. Um, hat pins. Funny you mentioned if that's what you wanted to do because me and Miss Barb were talking about it and um, we want to do some hat pins. So I'm going to be doing some on my channel at some point here. Ooh, what's that for? What does that do? That's it? It just cuts a slit into it? Why? What for? What's the point of that? I don't get it. Does anybody get it? I don't get it. Is it supposed to just do that? What the hell's the point? EK success. But it doesn't say what the point is. Will it cut it all the way? I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't get that. I don't need that either because I don't understand what the hell that's for. Yeah, I like making hat pins too. They're fun. This one. It's just a whole bunch. It's not as nice as the other one. I don't want it. <laughs> Alright. I need scissors. I need to do another corner punch. And check this one out here. Let's see what the heck this one's supposed to do. Oh, that does a nice round corner. Hmm. I don't hate that too much. Hmm. I, have, I have one that does that, though. I don't need that. Okay. What about this one? I want something that's going to, like, be something I really don't have. Like a size. Oh, I like this one. This one's just easy to use. It was very easy to push. I kind of like that. I might keep that one on hand because it's just very easy to push. Hmm. Yeah, I might hold on to that. Yeah, paper beads are nice, too, to use on stick pins and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, uh, I we found some. Um, I, I think we both bought some. Uh, did I get them already? I don't remember. Wait, if I did, I think they're in here. Yeah, because both me and her had ordered some. I have, I've, I have some that I've had 
for a while. I don't know if these are them. I don't remember if I ordered some. Oh, maybe I didn't because these are ones I had already. Yeah, maybe I didn't get them. Maybe I thought I did. Mm, but I have some here. And you can get them on Amazon and stuff. But I have the... I don't know if these are 6 inches, but... They're a little over 5 inches. I've seen the 6 inch ones. I have 6 inch ones. I have these cute little ones with diamonds on top. And stuff like that. But yeah. Not 6 inch, 5 inch. But yeah, I, I, uh, I thought I ordered some. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, so this one is for punching out photo corners, I believe. Right? Is that what that is? Yeah. Didn't. And then you fold it like so and make the photo corners. Yeah, I don't need that either. I don't use photo corners. I don't need the one with the balloon on it. Okay, and then there's this one, which I really want to try. Ooh. Did that even cut? I don't know. Maybe that's why it cut the creative reeves. Ooh, it does a crappy job, doesn't it? You jackass, you have to be crappy, don't you? It's a nice Halloween one, and you just gotta be craptastic, huh? Oh, wait, maybe it worked that time. Oh, yeah, it worked. Yay! Oh, that's cute. It does like a little Halloween spider web. You just gotta give it a little oomph. So I'll hold on to that because I like the Halloween punch. Cute. I've never had one of those kind before. Where did that come from? I don't know where that came from. It's cute. I don't know where it came from. I'll test that in a second. All right, then we've got this dude here, which, ooh, that makes cute little doohickeys. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I like that. Okay, let's try this one. Let me do it with this hand. This one's bothering me. Let's see. Let's line it up. Cool. I'll hold on to that too because that might come in handy. Um, oh, that's where this must have came from. Maybe it was in this bag. Oh, no, this bag was in my thing. And I don't think that, I don't know, maybe that flower was hooked to it. I don't know. It's a mystery. We'll never find out the truth about that. <laughs> Who knows what the hell's going on around here. Well, that ain't going to work. I need a corner, damn it. Okay, let's see. All right, excuse you. Quit being ornery and get your ass in there. This is one of those. It's supposed to be a corner punch. Is it not a corner? Oh, maybe it's not a corner punch. I thought it was. Yeah, see, it is a corner punch. I'm confused. That's supposed to be a corner punch. I'm confused by this. If it's supposed to be a corner punch, then why isn't it set up like a corner punch? Are you supposed to, like, line it up yourself and all that, like this? I guess you are. That's weird. That doesn't, I didn't do that very well. I don't know, because I don't know how the hell to use it. Ugh, annoying when they do things like that. This must have been an old one or something when they used to... I don't know. I'm very confused at what the hell that's for. I'm going to hold on to it for now because I don't understand. Very confused. And then this one I'm hoping works pretty well. I'm going to open it because I want to see 
it. I don't have a lot of faith in a lot of these ones with the squeezy lever. I've had issues with them in the past. Mm. Mm. Damn it. Open yourself, fool. I'm going to have to cut some more. Oh, that's a nice, ooh, that's a nice big round. <gasps> yeah, I like that. I like that. We need that. I only have my Fiskars one, and that one drives me nuts. We got to see what this one does, but I'm probably just going to get a new piece of paper because that's just a hot mess now, and I don't know how to use this, and there's no instruction, so it says large. I can't read it. What does it say? Oh, it's kind of rubbed off. Large circle something, small circle. Oh, are you supposed to put a circle? Are you supposed to already have a circle? I think you are. I think you're supposed to put a circle in here. Is it going to make me cut a circle to see if it works? I think I'm going to have to. Where's my circle cutter? Where are you at? The problem is I don't know where the thing is for it. It's somewhere. Oh, this is dusty. Sitting under there a little while. Alright, where's my thing? Why am I having issues? Where's my thing? Give me my thing! Okay then. there it is I found it okay so since this paper is wonky I'm just going to cut a circle that is like let's see I can't do that big so I might be able to do that one what happened what's going on hmm Why isn't this going yet? I'm very confused. What the hell? What is wrong with this thing? It's supposed to fit in, but it's not like... I don't understand. Huh? That's not, something's not right. Why does it seem weird? I don't understand, it seems weird to me. Is this the wrong one? I think this is the wrong one. Is this not the, this isn't the one for this, is it? I don't think it is. I'm not sure. It's, well, maybe it is. I don't know. It's being weird. It's not what I remember of it being. I didn't, I remembered it slipping into the thing a little easier than that, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember having to push it down to get it in there at all. But, I don't know, maybe I'm just a mess, and that blade must be going dull because it did not cut out all the way. Anyway, whatever, I don't know. So what's this, con are you broken? Because if you're, if you're broken, I just, I just cut a circle and this thing's broken. What's wrong with you? Are you locked in there? You are. You are locked. You ain't coming out. Alright. I ain't fussing with it. It's going in the garbage. 
Okay, just wasted time for that. Don't need a circle. <laughs> okay, then. Never mind. Anyway, I believe I have this one. I'll have to check. I want to say I do. I really like this one, though. Yeah, let me go check and see if I have this one. If it's not here, it's going to be in the other uh, in the other drawer in the closet. If I don't have it, I'm going to keep it. If I do have it, obviously I ain't going to keep it. Maybe I don't have it. Maybe I was confusing it with this other one. Hmm. Here. Hmm. Maybe I don't have it. I think I was confusing it with a different one. I'm gonna go look in the closet. Hold on a second. Okay. Whoa. I'm going to walk with all this crap in here. No, I was confusing it with this one. I have this heart one. Um, and then I was, I thought maybe I might have been confusing it with that one as well. Because I have this one, which is like a heart lace type of thing. And that's the one I was confusing it with. So, I think I'm going to throw this one in the, in the thing because I don't use it. So I'll throw that one in, but I like this one better. Um, and then get all the googly gop out of my way. And then this one, I don't, this one you're supposed to do something with. And I really don't know what, because it has like this thing. You see what I mean? It has like a thing for like corners. I still haven't figured that out yet. I've not figured it out. Maybe you're supposed to. Oh, maybe. Let's see, but no, that kind of confu that confuses me every time I do it. It doesn't seem right. It didn't even do anything. Hmm. I don't get it. Because if you, like, it doesn't sit right. I don't know. Maybe it was supposed to go with something else. I don't know. I think I'll put that one in there, too. I don't want it. I'll just keep that one. Anyway. They is messy making things. All right. We're done with the punches. I'm going to stick these in my box, I guess, for now. Because, you know, I have to make room for them. Whoa. That's a... Whoa. Okay. Put that back. Okay. Anywho, let's deliver. And now I'll put those in a punches in a bag. notebook thing. It has nice paper in it. Just 
the journal. Never used. Green room. What does it say? 60 to 70 percent recycled. Well, why not 100 percent recycled? So that's kind of cute. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'll keep that or not. I'll put it over there. Who knows? I probably won't. But this piece here of fabric I really liked too. I liked the fat, the flowers on it, especially this one. I thought was cool. So I don't know if I'm keeping that either yet. Don't know yet. Put that with the main pile. And I got this, which is Christmas fabric. That. I'm not keeping but that's kind of cool you can get two big appliques on a piece of string get off me all right it will not get disengaged disengage it won't <laughs> there finally it did so I will somebody had it for two dollars and 43 cents okay thank you in this bag and add fabric to it later. Then I got this piece, which is really pretty. Is it that side? No, it's this side. I really like this because it's like a cherry blossom in blue and brown, which I thought was really cute. That would make a cute journal cover. I got this random piece of it's like a velvety, lacy type of thing. I thought the colors were nice for fall. I got some orange fabric for Halloween. Oh, and I got some kind of Halloween ribbon. Oh, and I got these fall bags, which were cute. I like those. And I got some fall uh, doodads. Hi, Deborah. How are you, Miss Deborah? I've missed you. Who are these supposed to be? Where have you been, Miss Deborah? We've got some green leaves and some whatever these are supposed to be. Like pumpkins? Oh, I get it. Like little pumpkin cards. Oh, cute. Okay. I get it. Pumpkin cards. <gasps> Cute. And there's pumpkin cards. And they're like on like a iridescent card stock. Cute. Mm, that goes to fall. What's in there? something in there. Like a chip or something. I think it's just the, oh, it's the punch out from there. <laughs> oh, you <yeah, yeah>, yeah. used <laughs> Oh, and I got some Halloween foam stamps. I got some cute little lace appliques, little medallions, which I really liked. What's the other foam stamp? I know there's another one. Here it is. There's a witch. Now, Laura, you'll see, you see the witch. <laughs> the witch stamp. <laughs> All right. Those when I make my Halloween paper. Oh. Oh, and I got this wood piece, which was hanging on this thing. And it has a bunch of, I guess you can hang it once you paint it, but um, it has fishing line on it. Like a lot of fishing line. So I guess I'm just going to leave it, but, cause, but I'm going to paint it and I'm probably going to put it on the front of my Halloween journal instead of hanging it. So I'm probably going to take that thing out of it. But anyway, it's kind of cool. Empty bags. And then in here, I got this really old jar. Isn't that cool? So where have you been, Miss Deborah? Everything been okay with you?
Got some old mold in it. it. Needs to be cleaned out, but I don't care. I'll clean it. It's just kind of cool. And then I got beads because, I mean, duh, I love beads. I love me some beads. Um, I got lots of beads. Uh, this isn't a bead. I don't know what the hell this was. But I'm interested to find out. It says, compliments of your Tupperware dealer. <laughs> from Bat Rita Clark. From Indian Indianapolis. Oh, what is this? Oh, little nail files. Oh, they must have gave, gave these out, like, to, you know. They're little, like, emery boards. Cute. Well, that's interesting. And old. Interesting. I like old stuff. Anyways, there's, these are with some bells in here. And then... Bono. I don't know what that is. Some weird rusted thing. But the bells are what I like. These old bells. I love these little old bells. And there's some just glass beads. I guess this was oh, wow. it's a cool bead though. Anyway. Is this one of these beads it looks like? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, another bell. Hmm. Interesting. Excuse you, get back over there. Excuse you. <laughs> um, these I thought were really pretty. Look at those, they look like little disco balls. Little green disco balls. This is gonna be good. Excuse you, stop it. Run away. They're a weird shape. They're not exactly round, but they're kind of like a, I don't know, they're just a weird shape. You can't tell on camera, but they're like a little bit on the oblong side, but they're so cool. They're shiny and I like them for Christmas. They'll be good. I like them. And I got these big green fabric-y something. I don't know if it's fabric or, yeah, some sort of twine. But I thought these were really groovy. And I have the things to finish these because somebody, I guess, oh, see, look, this one's coming apart. I'll have to repair it. It's a wood bead, and somebody must have did this to it, and they didn't use a very good glue, so I'll have to mess around with those. And then there is whatever is in here. Whoa. Some jump rings. Ooh, this is cool. I like that charm. A pendant. And then there's this cool one, too. Cool. I like those. And there's jump rings. Little tiny jump rings. That just flew all over the place. Alright. And cloaks. And then these shells, like the shell buttons. I got more shells. These are cute. I love these. Cute. I want to make some earrings with those. And I want to make a mermaid charm bracelet, so, and I have some mermaid charms to do it, so I can add those to it. And these are just some, um, like, copper colored and yellow colored glass beads. 
And these are some gold colored and some bead caps and stuff. I like those. And these are, I got a lot of semi-precious, like these are uh, a bunch of quartz, pink quartz. And then here's, um, that one's just a glass bead, but some of these are like, uh, nope, that one's not that one. There's some in here that are and some that aren't. Like some of these are not. But a couple of these, you know, like that one, that one, that one, that one that one and that one these are like i think they're plastic actually but it, these are i think that's glass i'll put them all i'm gonna put these all in the auction because these are kind of cool some of them are glass and some of them are plastic um, I don't have a bag set up for that. But then I got a crap ton of pink. Do you mind? I'm trying to do a live stream here. I guess it's just going to happen. <laughs> and I didn't know if these are beads or not. And then I realized when I got them in the car that they were. And I'm very happy about that. But they're just going to bounce all over. Because I love them. They're pretty whole bag of pink quartz. She got a Halloween charm bracelet. I have a Halloween charm bracelet somewhere. I think I do anyway. Or is that Christmas? Oh, maybe it's a Christmas one. I have the stuff to make it and I've made Halloween charm bracelets and I've sold Halloween charm bracelets back when I used to do a ton of jewelry. I used to have, I used to make these really cool. If you go onto my pink poodle crafts page, on Facebook, I have these really cool charm bracelets I would make with uh, little mini tarot cards. I would um, print, I would do tarot card shrinky dinks and I would make charms, you know, and I'd put them on a charm bracelet and do like, they were really cool. I sold a crap ton of those. Um, yeah, I used to sell a lot of those. And then I have, I have this, which somebody made apparently for, and I guess there's, I would assume they're supposed to cut these down at some point because they made them on skewers. That is quite pointy, but it's kind of cool. I mean, I love the system that they used for making the, the binding. That's kind of neat. I've seen this done before. I've never made one, but I've seen it done to make the binding like that because you just take two pages and you and then you put your sticks through and like one stick will hold on two pages and in a half of the other page goes onto the next stick until you just have a whole bind a whole book. It's kind of cool. But what needs to happen is they need to be cut about an inch from the top and the bottom. And then you take some um, like hemp or twine or something and you weave it and weave it and weave it and then tie it. And that'll keep it and put some glue on it. And then, you know, and then weave the, just weave it in and out of the sticks and go back and forth a bit. And that'll keep it so that, that it, they can't slide out. And you put some glue, like just Elmer's glue. But that's what you would do. But I'm gonna put it in the. It'll go in the in the thing in the auction because I don't need it. And then I got some rhinestones because I love some rhinestones. I got some snowflakes, and I've got these. The only thing I wanted out of here is that thing, the little pendant thing. I don't know why it's in there, but oh, it's a pin. It's an old pin. I just thought that was kind of cool. I liked it. Otherwise, it's like sequins and stars and little trim and whatever. Whatevers. And here's some more sequins. And here's some snowflake sequins. And some blue stars. 
and some blue sequins and some little star sequins. Oh, and these are all, uh oh, I don't know what these are. Never mind. I, I thought there was something else. Um, oh, these are what I thought for a second. The, these are post-it notes in the alphabet, like in letters, which I think is funny. It goes all the way to Z. Isn't that kind of cool? And there's a ton on here and you can just spell whatever you want and you can collage it down, you know? Isn't that cool? So you can write your name. You can just take one off and collage it down and have a million of them. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. These little buttons. I like the little snowflake buttons. And these are little snowflake brads, which I like. They're snowflake. Oh, these, I don't know what these are. I looked at them and I was like, what is that? And I wasn't sure what they were at first, so I wanted to get them here. Uh, okay, I had a feeling that's what they were. They're little, you know, the little doodads, which drive me nuts to open these. Mm, open. Come on, you can do it. So it's a little, like, I don't know. Oh, I think it's supposed to be like this. This is an umbrella, maybe, a parasol. Because this is supposed to be like, yeah, probably the little thing. Ooh, I like these. What are these for? You go for the bottoms? I don't like these. I'm keeping these. You can get your own circles. And there's another one. This is a different one, I guess. Whoa. That one's kind of interesting. If it would just stay open. What is it? Oh. 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 I don't know. It's a set for some reason. I don't know. And there's little tiny ones, too. What do these ones look like? I don't know. Little teardrops. Oh, so maybe it's supposed to be like a rain set. Those are like raindrops, and then there's like, I don't know. I don't know. For like a baby shower, I guess. Maybe. Who knows? I got these really cute cards, which I love because they're very boho-y looking. And I love them. I got some really neat stuff this time. This ain't nothing. Wait till you see what I got. Those are cool. They're kind of embossed. I really like those. Ooh, those will be good when I do boho kits and stuff to put these in. Yes, ma'am. We want those. I don't want that. Oh, I got this cool pendant thing. And another one, which I was happy about. Oh, did I get these? I don't remember getting these. I think I did, I guess. Do they have different ones, maybe? And that's why. Don't need no flowers or a big dinner bill. All I want for V Day is Netflix and chill. <laughs> oh, good lord. This Valentine's Day, as candlelight flickers all I want to see is is you and your knickers <laughs> oh so they're the one kind of like just normal card and two sassy cards <laughs> kind of cute though cute got these blank Cards. Hmm. Cute. These are cute. I want a few. I will take three and then the other three or four or five. Oh, wait, maybe I'll take four. And there'll be four left for the auction. I think they're pretty. Four. And there's this, uh, what do you call it? Pinstriping tape. I'm, I'm assuming it went with some sort of a thing, maybe. 
maybe not this one, but there was, it looked like it went in a machine, but I've had pinstriping tape before for nails and stuff, but this stuff is really pretty and I think it would look pretty on cards. So there's different colors and stuff, I believe. Um, that was the gold. That was gold. Um, this is a red, so that will be good for Christmas. This is like a kind of a dull silver, I think. Oh, there's two in here, or no. Yeah, there's a gold and then a, this kind of like matte, almost silver, or like a satiny silver maybe. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then, let me get this open. Get in there. And there is white, which I don't need to pull out. And then there's this one, which was bigger. What's this? Yeah, see, this is the dispenser. That's what I was looking for. I was hoping to, that one of these, or that I'd find one um, that you could put it in. Um, how's this one? Oh, there it is. This one's got a design on it. Oh, it's got like a, a design. Cool. Yeah, you take it and just do that. And you can just put that on there. Cool. Me likey. Excuse you. Cute. That works really good. I like it. I like it. I definitely like it. I knew there was some sort of dispenser that went with these because I've seen them before, but I got some binder rings, gold stars, which I'll put there, I don't want this, I just want the snowflakes, and I got more different size sparkly snowflakes, I like snowflakes, I got these little sequins that have a hole in them, so you can make like, uh, Ow. I hate that they put staples and pins in there. Look, they freaking put a pin in it. Who puts a pin in something like that? Good Lord. Use a piece of tape. <laughs> Stop stapling everything and putting pins in everything that hurt to open them. What the hell is that? Why is there a paw print? What the hell? Anyway. I might use some of these for, yeah, there's some with paw prints on it. Hmm. Okay. All right, then. But these would be good for Christmas. For using them to like tie onto a journal or a card or something. Hi, Doji. Um, which ones are these, just gold? I have gold ones in here, right? Are they different? Why do they gotta be different? I don't want them. I just want those. And then this has, I don't know what the hell this is or even why I grabbed it. It doesn't even look like there's anything in there. Except for a piece of paper. Oh, they're little cutouts. Oh, okay. They're little cutouts. Little snowflake cutouts. And then... I don't want the snowflake rhinestone, but I don't want the cutouts necessarily. I was like, I don't know what the hell was in there. Oh, more snowflakes. But these are foam ones, and I have the same ones in the plastic. I don't need those. Look at those cute little bows. I love those bows. Look, one of those glue erasers, which needs to be washed off. It's got a ton of glitter on it. And this had some more, I think, collage -y stuff in it. Don't you fall over. It has a watermelon slice and another watermelon slice. Oh, and a ton of watermelon slices. Hmm. Ding. Run. Noon. Fun. Car. Bring. Sing. Soon. Spoon. Bun. Bar. Bar. Do we rhyme much? Rhyme much? I just want the watermelon slices because they're cute. I'm going to put them down here. Whoa, get back here. Somebody else can have the rhyming dudes. I do need a bag to put these in. All right.
I got more beads. Tons of beads. I got these white beads. I'll put in the auction. I got a little cool little cross that's like got iridescent on it. It's like a little bead. I got these. I wanted to see these. I don't know. They look like they've got like string around them, you know, like you would see a Christmas ball <laughs> with the string around them. Yeah. Like the silk cording. That's kind of cool. I think I want some of these. I don't think I want all of them, so I'll just I'll split those up later. There was this little ring in here, and I wasn't sure if it was sterling, so I grabbed it. Because I think it's a little toe ring, and I like toe rings in the summer. But I'm not sure. Oh, I think it's broken. Never mind. I don't think it's sterling. Hmm. Ben's like sterling. Where are my glasses? That would be helpful. There they are. It's broken. No, it's not. I don't think so. But it would have been a cute toe ring. I'll hold on to it and check into it later. Check more later. Actually, I could put those beads in here. This is an earring, which they stapled mine five thousand ninety five thousand times. It's a clip on earring. Oh, okay. It would make some cute little things if somebody took it apart. Cute. Let's see. There's these large ones. These are ones I wanted. These look like those um, things that would be on on a mirror back in the day. Hi, Monica. Hi, Paula. And anybody else that's come in? Hello. Uh, back in the day. They had these mirror things. Usually they were glass, I think. Sometimes plastic. These are probably them, but they are just uh, more modern ones. But I really, really like them. Um, this is a broken jewelry piece. What the hell? Excuse you. Stupid bags. I don't like these bags at all. They're annoying. It's all get. Come here. It's not that important that one thing is in the bag. And I just knocked a whole bunch of stuff over trying to get that out. Good lord. Yeah, I kind of like the beads on that. Really, I just like these two beads. Oh, and these. These are pretty. They're like. Um, what do you call it? Like opaly looking? That ain't gonna focus very well. Pretty. I like it. This bag is too heavy for me to hold on my lap. It is ginormously heavy. It's got all a lot of uh, glass. These are our little glass beads in different colors. These are plastic beads, but they're clear. These are funky beads in red and whatever. I don't know. And then here is a bunch of pearly beads. And here are some little gold and silver beads. And these shells I wanted to look at too. These are little shells with holes in them. Ooh, I think I like these. The insides are pretty. The insides are pretty, and then the outside is a cool kind of green color. I like those. I 
Oh, hold on to those. We like those. If I do my mermaid bracelet, these would be perfect. They're nice and small. Here are some stones I want to look at. Oh, here's some more stones. These are the black. Some of these are just glass beads, probably, or unlike that, which is really cool. Definitely like that. Isn't that, isn't that cool? I love that. Ooh, there's another one. So I guess these, maybe these are not glass. That one might be. These are not just glass, I don't think. Neither is that. That's a, uh, don't remember. I don't know the names of stones. Some of these are cool, though. Oh, hold on. Some of these faceted ones. I like the faceted ones. Yeah, these are not just glass. There's something. There's something. Hey, shush. Excuse me, loud. Yeah, are they, what do you call it, onyx maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Because if this was just glass, it wouldn't have these like clear spots in them. You know what I mean? You know, I can't think that they ain't going to focus. So these are something. Am I? No, I'm not. Why? Obsidian, that might be it, yeah. I'll have to look into these before I do anything with them to see. Because I don't have anything like this. I have a ton. I, I, lo I have a ton. I love using my semi-precious beads, but I don't think I have anything like that. So I'll have to look at those first. There's some nice little teal wood beads. And these are a bunch of little quartz and such. I'll have to see which ones of these I don't have because I know I have a lot of these, but I don't know which ones I do and don't have. So I'll check into that and pull out any of them that I don't have that I want. And then I'll put the rest in the auction. So I'll put those with those other ones. I don't need all those. I know it, but I want some of them. And then these are the hell are these yeah I have I have s I have slobs SL, SLOBS I do have it and I use it for um, my auctions and stuff um, these are glass interesting beads this one's broken but it still can be used as a bead but the whole goes it's broken in a way that it's like all the way through I'll put them in the auction just because I don't have a need for red and white necessarily These are little purple beads. Those. There are some pretty colored um, black color changing seed beads, which are really pretty. They go from black to blue to purple. Those are pretty. I don't think I have anything like that. I don't know if I want these or not. They're kind of squarish. I've never seen seed beads that were square. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll look into there or just take a few. Here's some. Don't remember the name of these either, but I don't have any in square. But they are something. Mm -hmm. Yep, and my camera won't focus. There we go. They're kind of cool. I'll have to look and see what they are because I don't remember that either. These are. Um, whatever's, I don't know, I get something, don't remember, I'm not good with the names, I had a book, and that's what I used to use when I used to make jewelry with them, <laughs> but I'd never remember anything, these are super pretty, I don't even think I have any of these, whatever these are, oh, those are really nice, the one's got a string through it, focus, fool, 
Whoa, good catch. These are Jasper? These are? Or the other ones? I don't know. I'm not worried about it. I'll get my book out when I need to. I used to have things labeled better, too. Oh, the, this... Well, the, the square ones aren't green. They are brown and, like, brown and gray with a little red running through it. And I think I have a stone like this um, somewhere in my box. I'll have to show my box later. I'll have to show you my box. <laughs> Maybe you can help me label them unless I find my book. These are cool. I like the little feathers. I really like that. Anywho. Some white pearls. Some blue seed beads, and these I just want some of those crystally beads that are in there along with the seed beads, so I'll pick through those later. Because I like little crystally beads. They're probably plastic, but I don't care because they're pretty. And then these are really cool. I don't know what the hell these are either. Look at that. Aren't they cool? Those are really cool. I like those. What does that say? ORB. And I'm not even sure if that's what that bag is from. Is these beads or not? Probably not. And here are some little, these look like little grenades. <laughs> They're just little connector beads. But they look like little hand grenades. Oh, come on. <laughs> and then, oh, these were really pretty too. Uh. Philip Stein sleep ban. What the hell is that? And why have you been in tears, Diana? Oh, these are pretty. Green ones are really pretty. They're all really pretty. These are quartz for sure, and probably the green ones are too. But really pretty like those I'm, I was happy to find a lot of these uh, stones beads in there because I love stone beads and these ones are, are really pretty these are pink pink I think they're pink a form of pink quartz but these bags are terrible oh god open would you um huh these are interesting. They, they've still got like their, it's not dirty. It's actually the quartz had something in it. That's not, that's a freaking glass bead. It's a pretty glass bead, but, or maybe it is, is it? No, that's just dirty on the outside. I was gonna say, yeah, these are actual, they, these are kind of cool because they've got, they're very organic because even though they've been cut, they've got little, um, little bits of, of stuff in them that got locked into the crystal like you see that Cause that's inside of it you could see like there's something inside of that my nails are disgusting inside of that that got locked into it that's kind of cool i like those that's interesting i like this one but it's i think it's just glass it doesn't even i don't know it feels it, it feels light but it's probably because i've been holding these for forever but that's just glass Yeah, inclusions. I have several of those. I have some really cool clear ones, which I'll have to break out and show you too. I have a lot of really cool like things like that. And we got some wood beads. I have enough wood beads. Oh, these are little metal beads that were kind of cool looking. They look kind of like vintagey looking. I liked those. Oh, I didn't open these. These are really cool. I know what these are. I can't remember the name. Um, 
my brain won't let me have the name of these. Uh, not ti these aren't Tiger's Eye, right? No, because Tiger's Eye is not as clear as this, I don't think. But there's something. I I used to know all the, a lot of the names because I used to work on the jewelry, but I forgot because I only did it for like, only worked with the, the jewelry for a couple years and then I stopped. And so I don't remember any of the names and it just got so hard because there were so many different names. And a lot of the ones I have are such small. I don't have big ones like this. I don't have any big ones like beads like this. I don't have anything like this. I'll show you what I have. I have uh, really small beads. So if I would have had stuff like this, I would have been wire wrapping like a crazy person. But instead I was wire wrapping like glass pieces and stuff and then using like the smaller gemstone beads around it. But see, I like these. Anything like that, this one you can't tell, but it's got that Aurora Borealis. You can see a little bit. Anything like that I love. And there's two things of them here, which I'm happy about. Different different types but I like those a lot and these are cool these look like a little egg shape oh these are like freshwater pearls they look like freshwater pearls that were like painted I don't know or like made to look like metal but those look like freshwater pearls the shapes of them and the way they have the lines and stuff I don't know it's not gonna focus but they're, I don't know if they're painted or treated. I don't know. This is weird. I don't know. Maybe they're not. I don't know what the hell they are, but they're cool. Mmm, but they're cool. Some pearls. These are, I think these are plastic. Yeah, these are plastic. I don't need those. I don't need them. Oh, these are cute little wood ones. And some little gold spacer beads. Oh, uh, more of these little wood. These are like wood sliced. Little wood slices. I wonder if I should hold these, hold on to some of these for, uh... Yeah, I might. I might use them around Christmas for something. Let's see. This one has some seed beads, but mostly it has... Oh, that's what I liked about these. This has like these little rhinestones inside of this that I wanted to pull out because I like those. And here's some more um, various stones in blues and purples and green, pretty. And then these are pretty. These I think are just glass beads, I think, but they're pretty, like an aqua color. And here is a bag of various beads that have all Looks like they're most, all of them are like semi-precious. There's some like, all kinds of stuff in there. What is that? Oh. All kinds of cool stuff in there. It's like a mixed bag. I'll split that up with me in the auction. Oh, these are pretty. Those are glass. They're really pretty. That's that glass. I don't know. Is it? It's too imperfect inside. It might be an amethyst. This this one. Because it's if for if it was a glass bead, it's too it's too like all imperfect. These are um don't remember the names of these either. But I have some of these in a smaller bead, and I can't remember the name of them. They've got a little bit of a a little bit of like I think these are the ones. That, yeah, they have like a little bit of a metallic to them. Um, don't know, don't remember, don't remember. But I like all those. Yeah, when I saw these, I was so happy to find these because I love the larger beads. Because I didn't have any of those. My friend had given me all the ones that I do have because she used to do. These ones have little, ha these are wood beads and they all have little happy faces on them. 
so cute. And some more pearls and some more wood beads in these cool colors, which I think I wanted some of the pinks and the purples and stuff of those. And then here's a couple of really pretty glass beads that I thought were pretty. They're like teal, like pottery beads. Here is some more pink quartz, which I don't need those. I have the big ones, that's good enough. These were kind of cool. Some of these were nice. They're pink, but they're dirty as hell. That, those are plastic and they're dirty as crap. The other ones are pretty. But, uh, no, no. I think I'm going to just... I really like that one. I think I'm just going to hold on to this and that one. Excuse you. I didn't tell you you could go anywhere. And that one. And that one. And then I'll put the rest of these in. Because I have a lot of pink beads like that. Alright. These are the beads. These are plastic little, funky little rhinestones. I might just want a couple of them. Maybe like, for like doing, you know, when I do like a chunky charm or something, I could throw some of these on that, because they're not, they're not too heavy, you know? Because sometimes they can get quite heavy when you use all glass beads. Let's do like two of each. That's good. And somebody else can enjoy this. Whoa, and I just dropped it on the floor. Of course. Get over here, fool. Ooh, there's some cool black beads in there. Black ones. These are, oh, there was only like a couple in here I wanted to see. Most of these are plastic, but there was a couple like these, which I love. I have found some of these last time. And there was like one more that I thought was really pretty. Oh, and that's really pretty too. The blue ones. Oh, that one's pretty. I like those. What is that? That looks like a. Like, these look like they're clay beads of some sort. Those are really pretty though. They've got like a stamping in the side of them. I can make like a cute blue necklace with those. These little ones. Pretty. Oh, those purple ones are pretty too. Mm, these are pretty. I like these little stones. These are various little stones in there too. And here as well, some orange and purple ones. Oh, these ones are pretty. They've got like a pearly look. Hi, Tuppy. Mm. These are kind of pretty. These are kind of cool. I don't know what the hell they are. If they're just glass, some of them look like they could be shell. I don't know if they're all shell. I have no idea because I've not seen anything like that before. I like those. I'm going to move these over because... 
because these are the ones I gotta go through later and separate out what I want. And these should go in my jar. This way I can't leave them all over my desk. Get over here because you keep flying away. Don't fly away. later too. I don't feel like doing it now. These are smoky quartz. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Oh, these are pretty. I like those. Some wood beads. I don't need wood beads anymore. These are cool. What the heck are these? I don't know, but they're pretty. They use pretty some smoky quartz or are these glass. Uh, I think those are glass. See, but that looks like it's not glass. I don't know. I don't know. I know these are something. These are, these might be smoky quartz. Yeah. And then these are... Yeah, these are something. They got a cool line of, like, looks like a blade of grass in it or something. This one's groovy. This one's got, like, an, I don't know, it's not going to show up on camera. No, it just looks... It's it's iridescent when you move it. It's so cool. And then this is a uh, really pretty blue. These are pretty. I like them. Most of mine are also small. They're not much bigger than like I don't know, just the smaller beads. Some of them are like really really little. What the hell was this? I didn't. I wanted to see what the heck it is. Mm, it's like a chain, but it's it's a lightweight, but it's metal, but it's lightweight. It's probably aluminum or something. That's kind of cool. The hell do I do with the hat? How would you even close that? Two ends of that. There's got to be something they have to close it. Maybe not. I don't know. That's kind of cool, though. I might do something with that. Hmm. A snake chain? I've never worked with that kind of chain before. Never ever! There's some pretty ones in here that are smaller but similar to some of the other ones in there. I like those. They're so pretty. 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 I have some pin backs, which I could use a few more of those. I have this cool sun. Um, with a moon inside of it, metal piece, which I love and would love to make jewelry out of it. All right, it ain't coming out of the bag. <laughs> it's got to be cut. We got to cut it to escape it. There we go. Yeah, somebody must have made this. Oh, it's soft as hell. What is it? Why would they make it as something so soft? Is it silver? You know what this might be? You know that silver clay stuff? That after you, you know, do whatever, it it you it turns into silver? I don't know what the hell, I can't remember, but that's what this might be. It's just a really not a very good job of it, but it's still cool to have. It it's just that you couldn't make this into jewelry because it's going to break. It needs to go against something else, but I really like it. So I'll have to see about making something with that. I could hearing it onto something else. But it's kind of cool. Ooh, some hanging doodads. Don't think these are. Yeah, they're just. These are just plastic. They're pretty. They're sparkly. Oops. 
spicy beads. More spicy beads. Ooh, I have some of these. These are hematite. I love these. Those are a cool shape. I don't have any in that shape. Those are really cool. And Deb yep, Debbie Sims had given me a bunch of uh, actual, like a whole box of gemstones, but they're not beads. They're uh, uh, cabochons and stuff like that. And I want, I would love to wire wrap some of them. There's some more of those seed, the shells in there. I, I, I've been holding on to them because I want to wire wrap some of them. And with these beads, I could do some really pretty stuff. I just have to get in the mood to do it. There's like one bead I want in here. It's just a long one. Cause this one's like, there's a, I do like this little glass butterfly mm, i have to think about that one but i definitely want this one even though it's broken on the end a little bit i don't care because it still would be cool to put on a, a what do you call it like a chunky charm a chunky charm and there's these here which are various stones and round round beads Ooh, these are like eyeball beads Hmm. Eyeball beads. They have eyeballs on them and they're beads. <laughs> really cool. Oh, I have some of these too. These are. Don't remember. These look cool under a black light. And I have a. Uh, I have a pyramid over there on my. I have like a whole little thing with all my little stones. And I have a pyramid. I love the fact that these are beads because I would love to make some earrings out of these. But if you shine a black light on them, they look really cool. And I have a whole pyramid made out of this. I I call it, I, I don't know, I'm sure that's not the name of it, but I always call it the ghost stone because it's just cool because it's kind of got like a ghostly look to it because you can kind of see through it, but like you can't. But I don't think that's the name of it, obviously. I think... Um, it could be a name that I've heard from somebody, but I don't think that's the proper name for it, is what I mean. And then there was this cool little earring, which had a cool, has like a fabric, it would be a cool bead or something. <laughs> the evil eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Oh, see, I like these. This is a leaf, a glass leaf, and a glass heart crystal -y thing. I love those. Definitely like those. I remember when I grabbed those, I was like, well, those are pretties. And here are some earring backs, I believe. I think these are earring backs for, like, I don't know what the hell, but um, I've had earring backs this su size. I think these are, that's what these are. Yeah, they are. Uh, or maybe they're, maybe not. What the hell? Do they unscrew? What do they think they're earring backs for? Are they? I think they're earring backs that tighten or something. Or am I thinking of something else? But I don't remember. Does anybody remember? These are like the bigger earring backs. And I think you twist them and they'll tighten to keep the lock on your earrings. If you have good earrings or something. I I don't know what's making me think that. But I want to keep them from mixed media or something because I think they're cool. Actually, I'm going to throw them in that jar because this is like a crappy bag. Here are some little clasps. And I have these. I don't need them. And I don't need silvery weird beads. These are kind of neat, but I don't think I need these either. Some of them are wood. Kind of cool. And then these are little triangle wood. I think they're wood or something. What are these? Maybe not. I don't know, but they're kind of cool. Red, white, blue, and black. These were really cool. I grabbed these because I thought these were funkalicious. These are funkalicious. 
Ugh. They're kind of like, I don't know. I thought they were the metal, but I mean, and they've got a little patina on them. I don't know what the hell kind of bead this is, but it is cool as hell. Oh, that's a bell in there. That's what was ringing. Isn't that cool? I've never seen anything like this. This. It's metal. It's like a hollow metal bead. Is one of these ringing? Oh no, they were just clanging against each other. I don't know, but these are cool. Whatever the hell they are, they're freaking awesome. I keep thinking one of them is a bell. They just sound like it. See? Sounds like bells. Aren't they cool though? Those are crazy. And here is some other little beads. What are these? These not a stone, are they? Oh, I don't know what the hell they are. Oh, clean this mess that I've got going on. Where'd it go? I just had something in my hand to open, did I not? What did I just do? Did I throw them in the garbage? Not paying attention? Thinking it was the baby wipe? I don't see it. No. What did I just do with whatever I had? It's not in there. Not really much in here. Oh, here they are. Oh, good lord. I was like, I just had something in my hand. Oh. Dude, I ain't in the mood for you. And your stupidity. Oh, these are wood beads with some sort of weird thing on the outside. I like shiny. Oh, kind of cool. I kind of like those. Maybe I'll keep those. I don't have anything like those. Oh, these are more stones. Ooh, look at the hat. So cool. This one has the iridescence. Dang it. I wish I could show. Oh, you can kind of see it. There you go. Look. See it? Isn't that freaking cool? Oh, so cool. That is so cool. That is just dying to be wrapped. This one's got a hole through it already. So cool. This is petrified wood, ain't it? Yes, I think it is. Is that a piece of petrified wood? No, no, it's not. All right. I thought maybe it is. No. Huh? No, I don't think so. No, it's not. Never mind. Okay. For a second, I thought it was because the outside of it looked like it was bark, kind of, but it's just rough stone. And for a second, it fooled me. There's some little purple earrings. There is some red stones, which I want those for Christmas. Oh, I wanted these because they look like Lady Gaga earrings. I did, when I went to her concert, my friend did my makeup here and three plastic beads. <laughs> There's a bunch of stones and through one, two, three plastic or four plastic beads, but most of these, even those yellow ones are glass. And then there's like a couple of stone beads in there. Uh, I'll look those later. There's some gold tube beads here. They're really pretty. They're glass or metal. One of the two. They're heavy. These are really pretty. different types of glass all melded together if it's glass I'm sure it is but and focus and focus focus there you go
anyway they're really pretty interesting so Christmassy they can be used for Christmas and I've got pieces of coral red coral that's what all this is it's red coral made into beads These are silver beads. These are, oh, these are freshwater pearls. I, like, I need some freshwater pearls. I used so many of them up when I did my uh, canvas. <laughs> and I gave, I did the kits and everything. <laughs> these are some more pink um, quartz. These are black. I don't know, glass or obsidian or something. This is a little charm thing. These are metal. No, these are metal. I don't know. These are interesting. Ooh, you get back here. Are they supposed to have like the rhinestones on the side of them or are they just supposed to be like no i don't think they're supposed to not these they're just supposed to be metal ones that are kind of like that they're kind of cool i kind of like them they look rustic-y these are cool yeah, i like those I'll probably split those up, so I'll put those over there. And this is a little Christmas charm. Like a little bell with a bow on it. I'll put that over there. And this is a earring. What's on this? It's metal, but... Oh, that's cool. I wish the other one was in there because I would like to wear it. I'll put that in there. I don't think I need it. And what's in here? This is mostly glass beads, I think. Hi, Ilja. Oh, nope. I got amethyst. Oh, yeah, I was wrong. There's only like a couple glass beads, all the rest of them are. I like that one. I don't want that one so much. Or that. Or that one. I think that's a, some sort of stone or something. I like that one. And uh, I like that one. I use big ones for chunky charms, mostly. Yeah, I kind of like these. don't want to those, so I will stick those in a, one of the other baggies. A glass one, and I think that might be a coral one there. Do I have a bag that was open here? I'll stick it in here. I like these. I like this funky green, lime green one. I thought they were glass, but then I looked at them closer and I'm like, no, nope, most of these are stones. Some more like rhinestone ones. This is, oh, these were interesting. I don't know what the heck these were. Are these wood? Yeah. Neat. Those are interesting. I think they're wood, but I'm not sure. No, well, maybe not. I don't know. Or maybe they're resin. I don't know, but they're made to look like wood and they look like damn wood. Yeah, they're resin. They're kind of cool. Those are cool. Not 
get it because that looks like wood. That does not look like wood. I don't know. It's cool looking anyway, whatever they are. Get in there, fool. I wouldn't know what to put them on, so. I don't want them. There is some little, fun little beads in there. And these are giant washers. What are they made of? I don't know. What the hell are they made of? Metal? But they're not heavy enough to be metal, but they feel cold. I don't know. Oh yeah, they are metal. Metal and something else? I don't know. They're kind of cool. I don't need them though. Like a aluminum maybe. Some seed beads. Oh, this is just little study rings, and I wanted to see if any of them. That's a cute bead. I think that's pretty. Oh man, why can't the other one of this be in here? See, every time. It's like a little disco ball. I like that one. Star, little pokey thing. Pretzel? A knot? I don't know what the hell it is. This one doesn't have a thing. Stone in it. This one is a little something. A rhinestone or something. Flower. I just want these three here. And the rest can go back in there. Somebody else can do something with them. Some black beads, which I'm going to look at. See? Oh, I love these ones. I forget the name of these, too, but they're the real pretty sparkly ones. And I can't remember the name of them. Hello? Focus, fool. I'm right in front of you. Do you still not see? But my desk is perfectly in focus. You call yourself autofocus? My ass. More like auto unfocus. I'm going to automatically unfocus on what you put in front of me. But I'll focus on everything else in the background. That's what they mean by autofocus. Here is a little bow. A bow earring. Somebody can use to make something with, to embellish something. These here are little teardroppy type of uh, whatevers. Oh, I love these kind. I love these kind of beads. Usually you find like the smaller ones that have like the metal around them, but those are really pretty. And then we have some more pearls. And oh, pretty. Use that for something. Oh, here's some more that have metal around them, little rhinestone type of thing. And then here's some more ones that were really pretty that I was doing an eyeing over in the store. Because they are so cool. Look at those. Little, which it won't focus on. Oh, now you're going to focus? And then there's this one. Excuse me. So that one. And there's these two. These two could be a cute pair of earrings, which I may just do that with. And these are two like pendants, but I think I'm gonna make look cute little earrings out of those. <gasps> cute. Pink and green. Oh, Doji, I thought you said, hang on, Paula, I have to go poop it out. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> That's why it's hard for me to look at the chat as I never know what's going on. Here is some charms. This says Bella Jack. Okay, and then there's a couple little elephants, which I really like the elephants. And the filigree and a peace sign. I'll have to go through some of those because I want those little elephants, I think. Ooh, these are little Egyptian charms, and I really liked these when I've seen them. 
because I like Egyptian things. And these are little mummies and little Egyptian doodads, which I was like, yay, these are so cute. Look how cool. If it'll focus, which it probably won't. There we go. See the little Egyptian pharaohs? I love those. That must have came off a piece of jewelry that got broke or something. Somebody else's trash was my treasure. Some little black seed beads. Some pearly beads. These are kind of cool. I don't need those. They're cool, but I don't need them. Ooh, some black and purple beads. Those purple ones look like amethysts. Those, you can see. These are cool. These are, these are really cool. Stones. She, she could take the hot dog out of her butt, her doctor says. <laughs> you should have told him I wasn't using a hot dog, I was using a, a brat. Johnsonville brought. I really like that one. It's a bead inside of a bead. I like that one. This little one and that one. And then I don't need these. These are really pretty though. Excuse me, they've got like glitter in them. Very pretty. Pretty? One couple out of there. All right, and we got some blue stones here. Sapphires, rubies, I don't know. Not rubies, jade, sapphire. Who knows? No, I don't know what they are. But I'll find out. They might, my thing might still be labeled. Some more quartz. I believe those are quartz. Yeah, I think so. And there's some more. These I have similar to these. These are some, oh, I'll put those in there. I have similar little ones like that. These are really heavy, these metal pieces, which are kind of cool. I'll use those in mixed media. These are plastic, but they're cute. It's not like a, like an iridescence to them. I can use those with Chunky Charms too. Getting down to the wire. There's some more wood beads. Here are some white rock of some sort. Don't know what the name of these are. Here are some more. I think these are those ghost beads and then some other beads. I call them ghost beads in there. These are wood beads that are painted green and they're pretty. These are something. I didn't want all of these, I don't think. Maybe I did. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I want that one. I like the orange one. I like that glass one. That looks like a marshmallow. That's a clay bead. That's pretty. All right, so I just want these two. So put the rest of these in that orange one. For Halloween, I'll put it on my journal. And here are some quartz, just clear type of quartz. And. Ah, oh, some black rhinestones, black flat. Well, they're not rhinestones, they're like the plastic faceted ones. Cool, don't have any of those. And then these are really pretty. They're like an orangey kind of glass, disco-y, ball looking, shiny like them. What else we got? Ooh, those were really pretty because they're iridescent like those. More feather charms like those. And then these two. Um, what's this? That's kind of cool. Is that bone? I don't know. I 
Get back here. Stop it. That was pretty. Some of these are pretty. Interesting. Okay, I just want these. I have a feeling this one's bone. This is something. These have a stamp on them. What does it say? Hmm? Hmm? So this is the whole thing. And it says Kenneth Lane. I don't know what the hell that is. Kenneth Lane, is that a thing? Kenneth Lane. Hmm. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Kenneth Lane. Who's Kenneth Lane and what is he doing with his name on these things? Later, I guess who Kenneth is and what he wants with my things. All right, pile these in here. That was a lot of beads to go through. into a thing. That rhymed Kenneth Lane was his name. It's Lane. I think it's L-A-N-E. Lane, like like street lane. Kenneth Lane. It looks like an N and not an M. But I could be wrong. No, these things don't need to go in there. It's just the beads. But I think there's some things in here that weren't the beads. Like those and those. 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 Snowflakes. I don't want them in there. Those. Kenneth is lame. That Kenneth, he's so lame. These I don't want in there either. I don't want them getting broken. Those I don't want in there. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, wait, more beads. Oof, that scared me. It was so loud. Get in there, fool. Alright, those are snowflakes and such. That's jewelry, so I'll put that in there. These are for Christmas and otherwise, and this stays in my box. They go in the box. These go in the bag. They go in the box. And these go in the box. And they could stay out there. That's a piece of jewelry. That's a snowflake. Okay. Oh my God, it's heavy. Get out of the way. Stamps. Oh my god, stamps. I got a lot of damn stamps today. This is a somebody put tape over it, I guess, because they stamped it and then put tape over it, but because they lost the top of it. I'm just gonna go through them quickly. Snowman, teddy bears. Some of these are stamping up. This one here has never been used. Brand new. Oh. 
I like that one. That's an iffy. That's a maybe. Oh, and I got these pigments. There's not much in there, but it's enough. That one I kind of like. Hmm. Hmm. Snowman. Well, somebody reused this block and put this one with a teddy bear and a border around it. Somebody really liked teddy bears. Oh, and I have marbles and stuff there. This one's like a little scenery. I kind of like that one. I might hold on to that one. I like little scenery stamps. Oh, look, a little gingerbread house. What the hell does that say? Christmas is peace. Christmas is peace, joy, and love, a special gift from heaven above. Blah, 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 blah. It's a Christmas stamp. Happy birthday to you is the other stamp in there. Teddy bear. Santa Claus. A teddy bear dressed like Santa Claus. A frame with a snowman. I was going to say horseshoes. I don't know why. Christmas cheer. Is that what it says? Something like that. A little girl looking at the mailbox. Here's another thing of pigment. I got some puzzle pieces. A snowman. And whatever the hell that is. Oh, I think it's a feather. Oh, yeah, it is a feather. Oh, no, it's not on here. Where'd it go? Is it not there? Oh, maybe it was never there. Okay. Hot glue gun. Look at these marbles I got. I lost my marbles and then I found them. I have a whole collection of marbles. A rhinestone. Um, I have a collection of marbles, but this one has something in Oh, it says Alaska in it. Isn't that cool? It has like a thing in it with Alaska. I thought, oh, I like that. But then there's like all kinds of marbles. And I have a whole big thing of marbles. I have a lot of vintage marbles, actually. I lost my marbles. Oops, and there's a couple of little rhinestones in here. I'll get out. But I need to put these in my thing. And I got another hot glue gun. It's in pretty nice shape. And then there is, I don't, oh, this is a, uh, like a make your own rosary kit. And there's like the things in here. And then there's like charms in here. There's all kinds of like religious charms and such. And beads. I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, there's glue for the hot glue gun. I gotta put my marbles somewhere. I don't want them to lose my marbles. Alright, I'm gonna put these over here. Let's see, my glasses on. And I need somewhere. Oh, that was in with the marbles, I think. Do I not have another bag? Shoot. I took the bag with the stamp. Oh, there's one. Oh, get back here, cool. Oh, all right. Enough's enough with everything falling on the floor. You know how I don't like that thing. Oh, God. Okay. I have some patina bead caps. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that. I have all, an entire thing of cracked marbles. <laughs> I have made them and I, oh God, good Lord. I made so many of them. Hmm. On your list of things you want to do, what, crack marbles? Yeah, they're a lot of fun. I take them in a big, I've made like thousands of them, all different colors and sizes and whatnot. I put them in a big broiling pan in my oven and heat it up to like 500 degrees for what was it like a half hour or 20 minutes or something and then take them out and spoon them out into a basin of cold icy water. All right, let me go grab the next out bag which is over here. Ow. Oh, I'm back as 
hating me right now. Oh, I need to take my medicine too. A good reminder to take my damn medicine. At least that one. Let me take get one of my painkillers over here. I don't think they are. No. I'll do that in a second. Alright, I got a this is an ugly sweater kit. <laughs> I didn't open it because it had tape on it. How dare they? But I think this is to make like a little ornament, maybe. Cute. Yeah, it's to make a little sweater ornament, and it's so cute. Do I want to play this? or do this one? What the hell? What is this all about? What is this? What the hell is this? What does this have to do with the sweater? Nothing. This is for something else, isn't it? Dyson? What the hell? Let's see, this is instructions for a Dyson. I think this slid in here because it was kind of sticking up this the back. Never mind. Anyway, this is the ugly sweater kit. I was like, what the hell? Instructions for a Dyson? But yeah, you get like a little, some felt, and you get like a little fuzzy stuff and bows, and then you can make a cute little ugly sweater. That's cute. I might use that for a giveaway. That would be a cute giveaway. Why don't we do that? What is this? Oh, I got some Halloween uh, doodaddy doilies. And then I got some sequins that are like leaves and seashells and stars and stuff. I don't need those. Cork. Raw cork discs. I thought, well, we can do something with those, right? I got a bag for myself, and I'm going to put a bag in the thing. Because I don't know. I'll put my bag down in the box, too. And then I got this for a giveaway as well. It's a cute little frog sitting on top of mushrooms. Cute. And then I got these, which I didn't understand what these were, but they're some sort of trim pins. But they're plastic. They're old, and they're plastic. They look like miniature little toothpicks. I, don't, I didn't know if I wanted to keep those or not. So those are in the maybe pile. This is a pin or earrings. This is a pair of earrings. I'll put those in that jewelry bag because... I have, I guess I, oh, there's more beads in here. <laughs> Great. These are little blank things that you can do stuff with. I like those. These are little, what in the hell are these? Where are my glasses? Oh. Huh? What? I have seen those. You have seen what? I'm not sure what what is. What, what have you seen? These are little metal bits that somebody made. Oh, here, Janie, I'm, I'm going to send you that. See, it has a J on it. And you could put it on like a journal or something. I'm, or if you want to wear it as a necklace, you can. I'm putting that in your box. <gasps> These are actual eyeballs. Well, not actual eyeballs, but they were, I guess somebody would use these and make, you know, their eyeballs. They're extra eyeballs for a thingy or a doll or something. So I want these because they're kind of cool because they're old. And they're cool. They're eyeballs. We like eyeballs. Oh, here's some cool rhinestones and crystal things. That's like a crystal right there, I think. And then there's rhinestone-y things. I like those. The pla Oh, the little plastic things? What are these? Oh, these are earrings. I just wanted the feather and that thing. Yeah. I don't know. Some sort of clasp thing. These are little heart charms. 
Don't need these. This is a cool like pin thing. I think it. I was gonna see if I had a uh, rhinestones that would fit it because I, it doesn't have any rhinestones in it. But I was gonna see if I had some that fit it. And there's these which have little things on them. That says thank you. That says angelic. Well, not so angelic when it goes into my shoe. All right, you need to stop. You need to stop. All these things are like all by my feet. Go away. That says angelic. That's like a little filigree. I kind of want that. This one was somebody attempted to wire wrap it, but didn't do a great job. And this is to love and to cherish. So it's like a, I'll just, I don't want these. Um, like a wedding. And then, I don't know. I don't have a use for those. But I do like this thing here. To make jewelry out of. There's a ring in here, which I'm sure is just, yeah, it's a piece of crap. But it's not like a real ring. But it's a little dolphin. And it looks like an eyeball. <laughs> what is it with eyeballs? Oh, I like this is cute. This little sheriff pin. Sheriff Chi Chi. What's that from? It's metal. I don't know what that's from, but it's kind of cool. Magnets. Extra strength. And these are like big, thick magnets. So these are good for like refrigerator stuff. They don't seem that strong to me, but they'd be good for refrigerator stuff. So that's probably what I'll use them for to make like little refrigerator things. Then I got keys. I love keys. I have an entire big metal box filled filled to the top with all kinds of keys. Don't know where the hell it is. I don't know whether it got left in New... Like, I had it a long time ago. Not recently. Don't know whether it got left in New Jersey. I don't know if it ever made it down here. Okay, is this supposed to be a necklace? Oh, somebody started making like a choker. Oh, that would be kind of cute. I bet you yeah, I can finish that. That would be kind of cute. That's kind of cool. I'm going to have to see what I can do with that. That's kind of cute. I'd wear it. And there's this weird ass thing that somebody tried to make uh, some sort of a thing with. I don't have a clue. Somebody attempted to make a weird tassel, but I think somebody else should take it and take it apart because the beads are kind of cool on it. Otherwise, I don't know what the hell they were trying to do with that. <laughs> I love antique keys too. This one's cool. Get some. Oh, I love this one. I wish the other one was there. It's little cherries and a cherry leaf. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, these are all cool beads anyway. I'll stick them in here. Somebody can take it apart and use it. Get over here, fool. It's a twig and berries. <laughs> And this is something or other. This is the only thing I really liked out of it was this little yellow crystally bead, I think. Otherwise, yeah. There's a pair of earrings in here. These little blue stone earrings and then some other little bead charm things. I, like, I do like that one. I like the other one. And the rest of those can go in there. I do like that white one. That's kind of cool. More magnets. Same with this one. There was like one, one or two things in here I liked. I don't know if it's worth trying to get them off of here. Maybe not. It's interesting. Whatever the hell they were making with that. Oh, there's an S. It was meant to be. What's this? don't know. Connectors. I'll keep the S. 
But the only other thing, the only thing I wanted was there's those little crystally beads on there. That's the only thing I wanted, but I ain't fighting with that to get them off, so. Don't want them that bad. These are something, of course. These are like uh, tie clips, couplings. What does that say? Or have on it? I don't know. Nothing. That one has a stamp on it. I can't read it right now. That one has a really pretty thing stone in the middle. I don't want that one. Oops, I just want the other one. Oh, these are little charms. I think I did want these. Yeah. Charms. Oh, these. These. Oh, these are pretty. I'm going to have to make this back into a bracelet. That's what it was. Oh, it lost one of its stones. Here it is, though. Yeah, there it goes right there. A little metal bracelet. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Uh-oh. Did I lose the stone? I really hope I don't lose that stone. I have something I could replace it with, but it wouldn't be the blue one. No. I think it's it. There it is. I'm going to fix it. Mm -hmm. These are pretty. I have to hold on to those. Those are really pretty. I like those. I like them. These are connectors. I don't need connectors. Oh, I got the big feather. Love that. Big feather. Oh, little things of little jars with little stone thingies in it. You know, you can make like a charm with them, or they are a charm. I don't need those though. Um, this has a charm and something in it. I like the dragonfly charm. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like the dragonfly, and I like that. They would look good together. It's like a little dream catcher, but it's really cute. It's got really. I wish this thing would freaking focus. Fool, there you go. It's cute, anyway. It's cute, and I could see why the dragonfly kind of goes with it. The colors are the right colors. It, I don't think it's meant to go with it, but it kind of does. I like that. Let's see. Oh, we got some. Uh, yep. Can't speak. Oh, here's a bottle. It's a glue bottle. It has a little metal tip on it. Let's see what that's all about. And lastly in here is <clears throat> stars and heart charm things. And these are little numbers or letters or something. Numbers or letters that are in like... What do they spell? They had to have spelled something, I would think. Film. <laughs> Film fled. I don't know. I'm not going to try. You're going back to bed. I'm not paying attention to what? I'm not, not paying attention. I am just, my eyes are elsewhere at the moment. Oh, get off. What, what am I, what, what, what am I supposed to pay attention to, lady? Uh-oh. 
Did I throw all those other ones in the bag? Oh, I just did. All right, these are the ones I gotta go through anyway. I'll just remember that because it's a smaller bag. What, what am, what, well, what am I supposed to be paying attention to? That you're going to bed? You're supposed to pay attention? That you're going to bed? Are you going to do something fancy when you go to bed? <laughs> Two OPC, what? Teapot charms? What does that mean? Well, you ain't telling me what's going on, so I can't help you. Two piece teapot charms. What about it? You got to give me some context because I don't know what you're talking about. I got these cool stationary sets. I have seen you with them. Oh, you're talking about the ones I make. I have the little, if I, I think I have some of those teapots left, the things, I believe I do. So just message me about it. Anything that you want to ask me, like you're better off messaging me about it than asking me here because I won't remember tomorrow that you asked me anything. <laughs> so if you have something like that to ask me, definitely do it in a message because my brain will not remember. So message me about it. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's very boho. I think I, I don't think I have another one like this set. Um, I think this would make a good journal cover. But it's got paper or these envelopes. No, these are papers. Oh, these are more card type of things. Well, whatever. And these are envelopes, right? Oh, this is paper. No, those are envelopes. But I got some really cool stationary sets. That one I will be keeping because I love this one. And I don't think I have any more of those. And same with the purple. I don't think I have any. Mm, I think I have. No, I don't have any more like that particularly. This. No. But there's the purple one, it's similar to the other one, it's just purple, and then there is some of these, which are like Egyptian-y, or boho-y, or I don't know what the hell, one of those things, they're just boho-y looking. I have a few of these, um, I have a few, a couple of these, I, I at least want to keep two or three sets of each one of the larger ones for myself, because I want to put together some boho kits using these. So these I think are elephant envelopes, or are they? Uh, oh, uh, that's if that's how you're gonna talk, I'll just let you figure out what I'm talking about. If that's how, if that's the potty mouth that's gonna come out of these, then I don't want them. If it would focus, that would be fabulous. Once in a while, just focus, stupid. <clears throat> I'm not even going to go there, but you can go there with your brain if you need to. Oh. Potty. Potty mouth. Okay, what are these? Oh, cute. Look at the little papers. They fold up like that. Oh, I see. So they're envelopes in all in one. So you write the address on the back and then you write your note on it and then you put your stamp on it. I have some things like that, but they don't open as cute as those do. Oh, cute. And I can't get it back in the thing. And this thing is just man spreading everywhere. Just spreading its seed. The paper that had that thing on it. Just get in there and stop being nasty. Put it back in there, but don't be nasty. All right, and then I've got a couple that are like that. All right. Okay. I have 
This one goes there. Um, and I have a few of it. Ow! It has like a silver leaf embroidered something embossed. Oh, this one's different? Oh, this one's different than that one. Lord, I think um, this one I love. Love that. I don't know how. I think there's only. Oh, I can put one of those in the thing. So, yeah, so those I'll put. Is that all the ones of those I have? I think so. So I'll put one of these in, in, in the auction. These I'm not. These I'll put two of these in the. What are these? Are these envelopes and notes? 10 letter papers and 10 envelopes. Oh. Okay. All right, well, let me get the rest out and see. And then there's these, which are kind of cool. I have four of those. I have, let's see, only two of those. I really like these ones too. Why are there silver on that side? But these aren't silver on that side. Oh yeah, these are silver on that side and white on that side. Alright, so I'll put one of these in. I'll keep two of those. Alright, and then I know there's some more somewhere around here. It might be on the living room. But so far I have... Alright, we'll put those two in. I'll keep these two. Put those two in. Keep these two. And put one of those. Keep those keep those because I'm going to use these for kits. These will be fun for journal kits, boho kits. I'm going to be getting some more boho stuff in soon. I'm going to have boho fun. All right, where put these freaking things? Um, those are some fancy papers. Are they cool, aren't they? They are some fancy papers. Somebody must have had a really fancy, they're made in India. Somebody must have had like a really fancy uh, stationery store, like an Indian stationery store. And I guess either it went out of business or something. But I love these. I wish I would have seen that store. I probably would have loved every minute of it. Um, let me go grab more bags out of the living room because I have more stationery sets out there. I believe because I'm missing some, I think. Let me put that Halloween thing back there. Put these keys down to my metal crap. Get that out of the way. That, that. Alright. Um, Alright, I'll be right back.
Holy crap, my back hates me. Oh, help. Send help. Did everybody leave? Well, fine then. Just kidding. All right. Before I get to the stationery, I have no idea that I grabbed this. I don't even remember why. For what reason? I think it's old wallpaper. I think that's why I grabbed it. I don't have an elastic band over here, do I? Nope. I'm going to cut this, but I'm going to regret it, I'm sure. I can't even get my scissors under it. It's so freaking tight. Oh, maybe not. It's just going to stay rolled up. Okay, then. Yeah, this is like old wallpaper samples. You can tell it's old because, hello? <laughs> Granny's Kitchen. Yeah, that's some old wallpaper. Excuse you. Excuse you. I'm trying to look. Ooh, Ooh I like that one. I like that one. I got some wallpaper books. I got bunches. I got like six wallpaper books or something like that. Two of them I might be keeping, but I'm not sure yet. These are pretty. Cute. I think I just want this one. Maybe the bamboo and this one. And then the rest I'll put in. That's it. Alright. Those will go into a bag somewhere. I just want these pieces. I thought they were cute. I don't know where to put them right now. No idea. Alright. And then I've got this paper, which is more of that stationery. More funky stationery, but it's not like it doesn't have a boho y or anything look to it necessarily, but it's, um, the plastic is stuck. Oh, oh, it's supposed to be. Never mind. I thought it was one piece of the thing, but it's actually all like together. Okay, so these are the envelopes. Just... Thank you. Ooh, even the envelopes have like a, you can't see the light through, but it has like a design when you hold it up. It's kind of groovy. They're really nice paper. Madurika, 10 letter papers, 10 envelopes. Okay, so the, these are the. Oh boy. Okay, those are the ten envelopes. And the, oh, look how pretty. Can you just, can you just, oh, look how pretty. It's even got like a raised seal on there. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, fancy. That is some fancy ass paper. I tell you what. Okay, I can dig it. Who are we stomping, Nina? Who are we stomping? one of it's a box I think it's obviously from the same company because they do everything where they fold the plastic over it's either a box or more than one box but I think it's two boxes but I really think this is cute box or envelope I can't tell I don't know it has fold lines it's all see it's all scored and I can't tell what the deal is, but I'm not going to do it now. I'll figure it out. I'm sure it's either an envelope or a box, but I like that. It's cute. 
I like the colors. If I can just get you to get back in there. Be a, be a pal, would you? Be a buddy, be a pal. What is a hulu? I don't know, what's a hulu? Alright, and we got this one with the red and the gold around it. It's more paper and then two, you know, five and five envelopes. So, let's see. And then we've got this one here, which has fancy embossing around it with silver and black. And... one of this one which is like black with like silver gray which is kind of cool I like that one too and one of these as well which is like the red and the gold I don't know if there's only one of these or not or that one for that matter let's see oh I, I only think there's one of these which I really love that one there's some of them there's only one of and then down here I have some that are, I think, hold on, one of those ones, with the black with the thing around it, no. um, which ones are these, okay, so I do that one, and, um, This one, I don't think there's another one of that one either. That one's got embossing. That's alright, I don't want that one so much. This one has got like a... Like a... Uh, um, okay, there's two of those. It's paper and envelopes. And it's got like a really pretty coppery, bronzy look to it. Is there really only one of each of those? There's these little things, which I haven't even looked at those yet. Let me get through these first. One at a time. Oh, wait, there is. There is another one of the black and white. Okay. Oh, there's two more of the black and white. So I'll keep two and I'll put two in there. And then, let's see. There is. Okay. This is the third one. I'm probably going to split this up into a couple things because. Mm. Alright, so this can go in there if I have two. two. Okay. And then there's this one, which I don't. Whoa, get back in the bag. Whoa, I lost the ball over the floor. Oh, I, they're like, because they're in plastic, they're sliding. I, I keep trying to put them in a pile, but they're sliding down my thing under my chair almost so I can run them over and make them a mess. That would be great. Alright, well, that's a freaking scrap paper. I thought there was going to be another one of those other ones with the red. But there's not. Anyway. Yeah, there's not another one of this one, but look, that one's cool. That's the plastic, that thing. And an like, look at all that. Like, that's like serious, what do you call it? Uh, what's the doodling thing? The doodle thing, yeah. What do you call it? Oh, for crying out loud, my brain just drew a blank. That one's really pretty, but unfortunately, it's the only ones I have of those. So, I'll probably split this up a little bit because these are really nice. And this way, I could split it up into like two or three things because this way, more than one person can get some. So, I'll do like one of those, one of those. And then like this one, this one, one of those, one of those. And do that one, and that one, like that, and then, where was that at? And that one, and that one, that one, and that one, and that one, that one. Oh, 
Oh wait, I don't have any more of these, did I? Of this one. Do I not have any more of this? Yeah. Is that why I that over there? Oh, my bag ripped. I don't have any ones with the guys with the thing on there. Yes, I do, right? No. No, I don't. <gasps> I don't. Dang it. I thought I did, and that's why I put that in that pile. Damn it. Jackass. I thought there was another one with the dude. With the dude with the thing on says, I really like this one. Poop. I have all the rest of these, right? Because I have more of these, didn't I? Didn't I just sit here and, and have more of these and these, and now I can't find them? Did I move? Did I bring them over here? I might have. Let me see. Oh, I did. Okay. Let me see if there's that thing with that dude. The thing with the dude? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, never mind. The thing with the dude can go back. I was going to say, I could have sworn there was more than one of those. That's why I put it here. But I, I forgot that I moved those over at. Yeah, never mind. Okay. So we'll have two of those, and then we've got these, which I don't even know what these are. Cards and envelopes. You gonna take a shower? Too annoyed? You're too annoyed? No being annoyed. What happened? Let me read. What happened? Good night, Pima. I just look, scrolled up. What happened? A woman at. Oh! That's who we are stomping on. Uh oh. Uh, Hawaii support. I know what Hawaii means. Why do I know that name? Hawaii. Why do I know that name? Uh, that's, isn't that like your phone provider? Yeah, that's your phone provider, Hawaii, right? Isn't that like a phone provider or something where you live? Yeah, 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 mobile phone. Thank you. I was going to say, I know that name because it was in some sort of story that I watched like a month ago. Uh, some sort of news story or something. I don't know, but I remember seeing that specifically. And I even looked it up to see what the heck it was. Anyway. These are cool little cards. They've got like... I don't know. I, I don't know. Your little cards and envelopes. And that one is the only one that's not like that. The dude crawling up a castle wall looks like. Oh, get back in there, fool. Hi, Char Charmely. Bonjour. Whoa, whoa, get back here. Alright. So, whichever one... I'm going to hold on to those. Um, but whatever one doesn't have a thing, we'll do a thing. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So that goes here. So there we go. Two things of things. Two things of things. Oh, we can empty this bag out. Put this over here and put one of them in here. And one of them in another bag. What a nice little stationary set. It's a boho fantasticness. These are these little scrapbooky sets, which I have some. Isn't that cute? Oh, a wedding set. I don't need a wedding set. Oh, that reminds me. I got a wedding dress. I'm getting married to myself. Quick quotes. Nothing is worth more than this day. That's kind of cool. And these are some sort of striped stickers. And this is scrapbook adhesives. And this is the little 50 set. I wanted this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. Um, I was hoping there was going to be like an actual poodle. <gasps> but the car is so cool. There's a poodle skirt. I thought maybe there would be like a poodle something. Let me see. Oh, I might have to keep this one. It has a jukebox and it has roller skates. Oh, I like that one. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. And then some more stickers. And then these are... What in the hell are these? I don't know. Photo mats. Oh, okay. Those little things. Okay. I might hold on to some of those. I might split those out. Those are fall and winter and summer and spring stickers. And this is like a cruise ship sticker set thing for a scrapbook and some pink pinstripes and those. What the hell is that? The Everett James Collection. And there, oh, I wanted to make some, scan this. It's got some cool pictures in it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to scan it. Alright, so these will go in that other bag that I have over here already. So this type of thing, I think. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Doesn't want to have a lot of lace. Who are you shutting up? Hi, Lori Gordon. Hi, Judy. I use a Logitech. Uh. E. 930, 930, oh, C930E, something like that. I hope Nina doesn't let herself get too stressed out over that dumbass at that phone company. That's not cool. They, I, I get pissed off at them all the time. Not that company, but the one that I have. So I got these older... Well, this one is older for sure. <laughs> I thought somebody might want those <laughs> to make a Halloween decoration. Look, a Halloween pumpkin. What do you call it? A uh, pattern. Brains. Little pumpkin sequence. Look at these little box little bag things, whatever they are. Bags, goodie bags. I might have to fill some of those up with goodies when I do like the Halloween live stream I might have to and fix the witch's head that does not stay on there I will have to fix that but that's what I think I might do because her head fell off so I'm going to hold on to those for that reason then there was a box of green pumpkins and you can push out those little like leaves and things. I don't know. There's a pumpkin shape and then there's, I don't know. And then there's like two pumpkins next to each other. 
Oh, I see. So you can do like that. And you can decorate it. I'm picking up what you're putting down, pumpkins. And then you've got faces to put on the pumpkins. Oh, it's like a little kit. All right, we'll put that in the thing. In a bag of stuff. Because I probably am never going to get around to doing it. But somebody might have kids or grandkids and they can do it with them. Cute. Okay. Oh, I got that little card. I got some fall cards. Oh, look, my bat. A foam stamp and it's a bat and I got the cute little chalkboard wood thing these are little all this is wood stuff so I'm gonna shove all that in there and I'll probably just shove these in there with it along with these probably unless I have another bag for Halloween stuff otherwise I'll leave it all together like that um what else that is a ruler. It's got inches. It's got picas. I don't know what a pica is. And then it's got metric and it's got agate. What is a pica? I don't know, but I like it. Oh. And then we got another bag here, which, ugh, Chris drives me nuts when he keeps putting knots in my bags. Please try not to put knots in my effing bags, because I do not have that many bags. I keep telling him that, but he keeps doing it anyway. Mm, drives me nuts. This is some yellow tool, which I might use for Halloween. Look, thumb. Well, they're used, but. And look at this giant ass zipper. I was like, I need to take that and make something with it. Maybe make one of the zipper, zipper flowers, but look what's on the pull. I don't think it whistles well. Oh, it does. It whistles. I got a whistle. What in the hell was this used for? That is a big ass zipper. Oh, I got some foam dot thingies. I got another zipper. Oh, I got a pink one too, because this one's nice and long. I can make a pink zipper flower. Um, oh, I got some papers for Christmas. I'm gonna tea dye the crap out of those. I got some monsters. I'm gonna put those in that bag. Don't want them. Oh, I got these. I'm gonna put those in a bag. Um, I don't want them. Oh, there's some bamboo paper. I could tea dye those too. That's what I like to do with these stationary pages is tea dye. Look at the little panda bear. Oh, and I got these little stickers, which is Winnie the Pooh. The vintage Winnie the Pooh. And then I got, uh, these are all stickers. And you're supposed to like put them on the, the creatures on the things. So I'll put those together. I got gold stickers. Gold stickers. Half there, half there. And I got some iron on, Jolie's Boutique iron on doodads. Which, um, we're not gonna do anything with those, so I can go I'll stick that with it for now. Some bags over here, and what else have I got? I got lots of things, but it's a matter of getting it all in here. Oh, I got more punches, I forgot about. I didn't realize I had grabbed more punches. A big old bag of punches. Go punch everything. Punch it all to death. I forgot I got more punches. This is a Stampin' Up punch. It rattles. It doubles as a rattle, apparently. I don't really know why. It's probably a bead or something. Alright, 
Well, let's see if it punches. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but somebody that does stamping up stuff would probably know. It works. Don't know what it's supposed to be, though. Paper shapers? Paper shapers. Oh, look. It fell out. It's a little piece of metal. And then there's an EK Success. This one I'm hoping works well because I like this one. Oh, it does. Yay. Yay. This is a little mini tag. I don't want that one. I'll put that with the other punches. I got some more of these in my books here. Let's do some giveaways for at the auction. For these cute little books. Calendar books. Oh, and these two. This one. Okay, paper, why you not go through? Because you got crap all inside of you. Why you got crap? Because you probably suck. Therefore, paper gets caught in you all the time and you is annoying. And that's why somebody said, I don't want you. I'm sending you to the creative reuse. Get out of my life. I think that might be what happened. Paper shapes for cards. What do you mean? The only thing I thought of was doing that and then punching it out of different colors and putting, filling it in. Is that what you do? That type of thing? Because otherwise I don't understand. You know what I mean? Like the fill in thing to make it look kind of like a retro-y thing. That's what I... Come on, get out. on what are you stuck in there for what's its point i don't understand now don't pinch my fingers jackass I got mm, most of it out, maybe. Alright, maybe it'll work now. Yeah, look at that. Lord. Mm -hmm. This is why. See, I told you. That's exactly why there's paper stuck in it. Because it sucks. I don't want it. Well, somebody else can work on it and get it working again with some foil or whatever you do or want to do. I ain't doing it. I can't. Stuff like that makes me crazy. And the foil trick never works for me. I don't know who it's working for, but it ain't working for me. All right. And then there's this one, which is a square. I don't have a scalloped square, so that would be nice if it works. I think it does. Yay! And then this one, which is like a label thing. Labels! Okay, now that one don't work, but this one does. Okay, I don't want it. Anything that is a stress test. And this one is like a little lacy pattern. See if it works. See that works. Well, why isn't there no holes? I'm confused. Oh, maybe there's a button. You can do it two different ways. No. Where are the little holes? There's no holes, and it clearly shows little holes. I'm very confused. What is going on? Why does it not have the holes? Maybe that's why this one's at the creative reuse. Well, I do like the scalloped edge, but I don't understand why the, there's no 
like little holes. Very confused. Anybody else confused by that? Because <laughs> I sure as hell am. It shows it. Well, the only thing I could say is that's probably why it's at the creative reuse because I do like the scallop though. I think I'll keep that because I don't have a good, nice, large scallop like that or anything. I only have those scissors. Okay, maybe I'll hold on to that because I'll play around with it. All right. For now, I'm just going to stick it in here. Bye, Judy. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to put these with the other punches that I got over here. We got punches and punches and punches. I'm having an auction on Sunday. If, any, if anybody's new and doesn't know why I'm going through all this stuff. Oh, there they are. We were hiding. And this stuff will be in lots set up on my auction. Oh, the paper. Oh my god, I can't move in here. Help. Help. I can't move. Okay. <sighs> Too much. Anywho, having an auction. And on Sunday at 4 p.m., Um, I have enough time to show a little bit more if you're interested. Otherwise, I don't. I can end it here if you want. It's up to you. You let me know. You want me to show you more, or are you guys bored? Ow! I'm trying to lift up this paper. It just all fell out. Oh, it's heavy. Heavy stuff. Show more? All right, you're gonna have to give me a second. I have to run out and get some more. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh my god. That's a lot of work to carry all this crap back here. It really is. It's just a lot. 
It's a lot. All right, I have more stationery stuff, I think. If I can get it out of the damn bag, that would be great. Come on, jackass. Thank you. Good freaking lord, it's stuck. Oh, God. <laughs> Everything is annoying. Okay, so these are cool. Envelopes, aren't they groovy? And they stick in here. I guess you can stick the thing in there, but then your little thing has to stick up like that, I guess. I don't know. But there's more cool paper because this has got like a cool little design on it. And some cool, like it's the same design that's on the envelope is embossed on here. Why is it like getting brighter? Hello? It's white damn paper. Brighten up, jackass. There you go. You get your paper and then your envelopes, which is cute because then you can take this and make it into something. And it's got like gold around it. Focus! This camera is, I'm telling you. Some of those, a bunch of those actually. So I'll probably put um maybe I'll make a separate thing. I don't know. Let's see. Because I think I only have one of the no, I have this is that. I just know what that's called too, but it's not a thing. It's a uh this mm -hmm. What is it like the it's a symbol for something and now I don't remember what the hell it's for. <sighs> Anywho. You know, it's that thing. Russell Brand has it on him. Anyway, so what I might do is do like two there. Here, or I'll actually put a new one because I will do that one. Okay. Digliani or whatever his name is, the dude, the artist dude. So this is a plate one on the cover. Uh, these are prints of this dude's, and this is one of the prints is on the cover. You can see it's a separate paper. Um, how to appreciate art, how to read a picture, modern art in everyday life. And it talks about art and stuff and stuff and stuff. And then these are all prints of the art. The cellist. They're called plates. I don't know what that means, but hmm. So I have to look these up online and see what they're worth because they're probably worth some money, but I don't know. And I want to scan them too because they'd be fun to just use to play with. Look at that dude. Naked. 
She naked. She naked too. He liked to draw a lot of women. Obviously. But anyway. Isn't that kind of cool? I have three of these books and they're different artists. Like that's Modigliani and this is, oh, I don't know how to say his name. Is it Suzanne or something? Suzanne? 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 I don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar with his name. For the love of God, things are just falling over left and right. But anyway, Paul Suzanne? I don't know. But there's more of those prints by him. And then there's one more. And that's this one. Toulouse. Lotra. Something like that. Oh, I know it's Modigliani. I know I know that artist, but I don't know these very well. But anyway. Moulin Rouge. Oh, after Moulin Rouge. Maybe that's what he's famous for. I don't know. Don't know. No clue. No clue. Oh, I got some of these, which are like postcardy things or something. I don't really know. They're cards, maybe? I think they're cards. And you can cut them and then fold them and make thank you cards out of them and then that's on the outside that's on the inside and then I got this which is a whole kit to make three little snowmen and it has like the sticks for their arms and the paint and the felt and this there, there's the sticks for their arms actually and then all the things are in there and then there's this which is really cute um what do you call it? Cross stitch or whatever. There's a little boy. And this cute little girl. Is it a girl, I guess? Yeah. With a cat. Isn't that cute? And it tells you what embroidery floss you need. Half tempted to keep. Oh, somebody did start these. Oh, they used awful yarn. Aren't you supposed to use em 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 embroidery floss for these? Or maybe you're supposed to use yarn. Maybe these are embroidered things. I don't know. I don't know nothing about these. They're kind of cool though. And then there is a vintage towel. Which I haven't decided whether I'm keeping this or, or putting this in. Because it's pretty. Oh, it's upside down too? Alright. There we go. I was like, why does it not look the same as I saw it in the store? I like that little thing. I don't know if I'm getting rid of that or not yet. I haven't decided on that. But these, I think I'm going to get rid of those. And then I've got these here. So a lot of these I'm keeping because I like old metal pieces. But there's some cute little rooster draw poles. <laughs> there's, there's quite a few of them. And I might put those in. That one got kind of worn off. So I'm going to paint that one. I'll just paint over it with something else. There's enough to do like some of these like kitchen maybe a half a kitchen I don't know. I thought somebody might like these roosters. Roosters and oh I've got more screws for them. There's two half screws so we need one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, excuse you, eight. I'll put those in the bag. But these I want because these, stop. These old, old pulls from like drawers. These were like old, you know, drawer pulls or whatever are, are really cool. There's a brass 
painted. I have two of them. I think they're so cool. And these old ones here with the paint chipping off. These are awesome. I love these too. And this one. Oh, I don't want to lose all the paint. Oh no. Don't want to lose the chipped paint. That's my favorite part. Oh well. I like stuff like that for mixed media and for things. And for things. These I'll put in because I think somebody would really probably like those a lot. They're kind of cool. paper book this is one of them this warren kimball is like an artist dude he does these big fat animals but they're so cute this upside down i think no it's not right no okay i think i have two that are identical to this one it has some cute wallpapers it has like a cute little oh you can't see because i suck and I'm here to make my camera go out a little bit so then you can see. Mm -hmm. um, no? Okay. All right, anyway. Look the cute cows. <laughs> They're so cute. Like different patterns. Usually get a square out of those. A piece of fabric that matches it. I love the cute fat cows. And to go with your rooster knobs, there's some roosters I think in this one. The fabric was there. Somebody took the fabric, but. But these are so pretty because they actually look like they're painted the way that's done on. I don't know, it just looks painted to me. They're really pretty. There's one that I have out there that's really, really nice. It looks very painted. Fish! Looks like wood. Fish! This one's cute, little beehive with the bees. And then there's like little beehives. More wood. Wood. More beehives and such. A different shade, I guess. This would be good for 4th of July or for a nautical theme. Lighthouses. More this fabric. More lighthouses and flags and very patriotic wallpaper. Ducks. Fabric. Ducks. Duck, duck, goose, hounds, tooth. Wood. Ducks. Duck, goose. Fabric. Wallpaper. Wood. <laughs> Wood. Ducks. Hands, tooth, and ducks, and more wood. I like that wood. That's a good one. That's a good one. And then there's more wood. And more wood. Stop it. Stay there. More hounds, tooth. And wait, there's more. We got bunny rabbits. Bunny wabbits and fabric. And more bunny rabbits and more fabric. 
and different wallpapers that go with all that stuff. Somebody took a square. It doesn't have roosters. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, it has horses, I think. Yeah, it has horses. Horses. And wood. And like a checkered. And like paisley. And whatever that pattern is. And then paisley again. More horses. And more paisley. And more plaidish type of thing. And more paisley and more horses more plaids and more whatever that is and more wood and then more plaid and more horses and more wood and more that and more paisleys cool oh okay there's a lot more stuff out there but i ain't gonna show it today there's like four million bags of stamps i've got like at least four big bags of stamps and then um, there's more wallpaper books. There's a couple of new fabric sample books. There's, um, fabric. Um, my brain is drawing a blank. Oh, there's Norman Rockwell prints, which are really cool. Um, and then there's some other art print things. I have to, oh, do I have those here? I have something here. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is not the print. This is something else. <coughs> this is that, um, <coughs> flocking paper. Flock you. Flocking paper. So, if anybody wants to flock. Anybody feel like flocking? I can't get it back in there. Get in there. I've got dust all over my desk again between the wallpaper book and the stamps and the paper and the flocking and the flock you. My desk is a disaster again. Flock. That's like fuzzy, kind of. Feels like velvetish, kind, velvety, kind of. Ow. Hi, Arlene. You're doing jelly prints in your PJs. <laughs> that sounds fun. I just went through all the stuff. Not all the stuff. Like not even probably about not even half of the stuff for the auction. I've got some other art prints. I've got, I don't know, just a bunch of other stuff out there. But I'm getting tired and I've got a mess to clean up now. Yay, mess. But anyway, um, I'm going to get off of here and I hope I'll see you guys at the auction on Sunday. Um, you can, uh, the link of it is, uh, Nightbot had posted it, I think. Yeah, here it is. If you wanted to go there and you could set like a reminder from the page. So there's the link to the auction. So you can set yourself a reminder to come and check out all the goodies. But, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Um, have a good night, everybody. And thank you for hanging out. Poodle Pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. Good boy.